In this video, I'm gonna talk about the five P's of customer service coming up. So the most successful brands in the world don't necessarily have the best product and services. What they have is the best customer service. So customer service is incredibly key to the success of your brand and your business. And in this video, I'm gonna break down the five P's of customer service and how you can knock it out of the park. Let's jump in. P number one is prepared. Come prepared. You have to be prepared for your day. You have to be prepared to answer any question that might come up, any problem that might come up. You need to understand your products and your services and your customers in order to deliver value. So you have to be prepared. If you want to offer great customer service, prepare your team to offer great customer service. Prepare yourself. So P number one is be prepared. P number two is professionalism. It's key in customer service to always remain professional. No matter how difficult the situation, remain professional. Dress professional, act professional, speak professional, write professional, be professional. The more professional you are, the more professional the brand. You are the brand as the representative of the company. How you look and act and communicate is a direct indication to the customer of what your brand is. The brand isn't the name of the brand, it's your name. You are the brand. And so being professional helps your brand be viewed as professional. If you're not professional, people will perceive your whole brand to not be professional. So be professional is a huge part of providing great customer service and great customer experiences. P number three is positive be positive. No matter what you might be going through in life, when you start your work day, try to forget all of that and just put on the upbeat and cheery attitude. Attitude is key to success and that is being positive in all situations. Be positive, be upbeat, be cheery. People like to work with people and brands that they like to be around. So be somebody that brightens somebody's day. Be a beacon of light in the storm. Be positive in all situations. Help the customer view the positiveness of your brand, your product, your services. Not focus on the weak points and the negatives, but focus on the positive. Sell the benefits to the process or the product or the service. And the more positive of a person you are, the more positive the experience is for your teammates and your customers, and it just creates a great environment for positive customer service. P number four is to be patient. Be patient in your customer service. A lot of times you're going to hear customers start to say something you've heard a thousand times or a question you've heard a thousand times, and what you're going to want to do is cut them off. You're going to want to cut them off and answer that and not let them finish, but this creates a negative experience for the customer that's not good customer service. Good customer service is hearing them out all the way through and then responding. That allows them to feel heard. If you cut them off, they won't feel heard. An example of this that I heard a while ago and it's always stuck to, with me is just the experience of going to the doctor. A lot of times a doctor has heard or seen the issue that you might have a thousand times. And if the doctor just immediately said, oh, you got this, I'm gonna write you a prescription, go get it filled, you probably wouldn't feel like they really heard you out even though they may be correct, you not voicing your actual problem to them and them immediately just answering it and writing a prescription probably would make you feel like that prescription might not be accurate because they didn't even hear you out in the issue that you had. And so that's the same experience with customer service. You have to let them voice it out, listen, and then respond, right? And that's being patient. And so be patient in the process and also be patient with customers. You're gonna have customers that are the squeaky wheel, customers that complain. It's gonna be easy for you to lose your patience sometimes and you have to just hold your water, be patient, treat every customer with respect, and that's a key to customer service. And P number five, last P is to be proactive. Be proactive in all situations, right? A lot of times you can see around the corner, you can see a customer is going to have a question or possibly have a concern or possibly have a problem before it actually bubbles up and is a fire essentially that you have to put out. Put the fires out before they ever start. Be proactive, communicate to the customer in advance, tell them what's going to happen next, right? Help them see around the corner so it eases their concerns. Hey, I know a lot of customers at this point in the process are concerned about this. 
This is generally what happens, and this is how we have a plan to overcome that if that happens. Statements like this help the customer feel like you really have their back and also helps them to see the big picture, the full picture, because you have so much information, you have so much experience, you know that everything's going to work out. You're not worried about it, but the customer doesn't have all that knowledge and information, so they are worried about it. So explain to them so they can see through your lens and ultimately feel like everything's going to be okay because it is in most cases, right? And that's about being proactive. Bad customer service is just waiting to solve problems as they come up. You know the customer is going to probably be upset, but you don't get ahead of it. You don't talk to them in advance. And sure enough, it becomes a way bigger problem than necessary, right? So be proactive in your customer service and you'll be far more successful. So that's it. Those are the five P's of customer service. Hopefully you learned something today that you can take back to your team and share with them so that you have better customer service as a whole. And also hopefully you learn something that helps you be more excited to offer incredible customer experiences and customer service starting right now, right now, today. So what are your power tips? What works for you? We'd love to see it in the comments. Follow us for more content like this down the road and happy marketing.